Okay, in this exciting episode of Flexible Urban Modelling, um, we'll do some wiring of uh, parameters of suns. So you might remember we did some parameter wiring um, on these objects here, um, where we had the segments linked to the amounts. Um, these buildings were set up so as one moved around, the other one moved around. So we had a kind of um, nice direct relationship with those two. Um, we can also do that with uh, sun positions. So occasionally you'll want to look at, um, well, you might do a sun, let's do a daylight. Yes. Um, and we are doing this in Melbourne. Um, and I probably need to just check my render engine. Let's keep it. Uh, whoops. Yeah, let's just do mental ray. Um, keep things relatively simple. Oops. Um, And let's just do a quick render and see what that looks like. So we've got one sun. Uh, it's way overblown because I had it set up for Octane. Let's do a quick check of the exposure. And I'll just set it to be mental ray. And we'll just use the outdoor um, clear sky and if I render that that should look a bit different yeah so that's all right um, okay so now that's all good and well and um, I can get shadows in the viewport Ooh. oh that's right they're floating above the Move that down in the Z. He's floating as well. Um, so that's quite a normal situation where we've got um, a sun. We want to be able to change the time and see what the shadows are doing. Um, if <coughs> if we want to see multiple sun, or mo the shadows of multiple times of the day, um, we could do a copy, let's do it just as a regular copy, not a instance or reference. Um, and if I select this guy and change the time, um, you'll see that we're now getting multiple shadows. Um, and this is pretty useful because you can sort of see the intensity of these shadows. Um, and if I turn off the skylight on both, um, you can start to get a very, um, well, you can sort of count the amount of hours things are in shadow. Um, my graphics card's wigging out because I'm recording as well, but yeah, there you go. Um, so that's quite useful, and you can do an array of uh, suns over different. Um, time so I often do a sort of every half hour um, so you can see where the kind of accumulative shadow is hitting um, that's quite good and then uh, but sometimes you want to then go well, actually that's the middle of winter I want to look at summer um, and then you have to go into all 10 or 15 suns and change that so what you might want to do is link um, the parameters of um, the suns together. Um, it's a little bit trickier in that if you right click and go on to here um, you don't get the option of wiring parameters um, so you need to do it uh, if I can find the bloody thing wire parameters there it is um, or just remember alt 5 um, so you can bring up this dialog and then what you can do is 
um, just hide these things for, let's see what's going on. Um, you can find the parameters in here. And they, they are a bit tricky to find. This takes me a while to remember exactly how this works, but you've got the solar, so we want the solar times to be independent, but we want to link the solar date. So that's compass number one. So that's from this guy. You can see that it's hot. And then, um, yeah. what we want to do is just find that same parameter in here. Um, So link the solar date to the solar date. Um, and this is one where I would almost always set them up as master slave. So I'll have the first son um, and I'll use that as the kind of master and then I'll do a one way um, connection and connect those guys. So then what I can do is I can grab the master and I'll probably rename that master um, and then when I change the month here uh, it changes for all of your array of suns um, and you can see you know you could set the latitude longitude to be linked um, that would be useful in you're um, you know doing modeling in different parts of the world um, oops I think I just stuff that up latitude one way connect longitude longitude one way connect um, and you can do that with all of the well with a, a bunch of the parameters that you are going to change um, for example I link the multipliers so as I um, increase the number of suns it starts to get overblown and harder to read so then I adjust um, the sun intensity so if I've got well, if I've got two suns you might do a simple kind of division to be 0.5 and 0.5 um, and then you'll still be able to read what's going on so that is wiring the parameters of suns.